Hey guys, how you doing? Ron's not here. Well, today is the 23rd of March and uh, got a package in the mail. These guys actually should be uh, giving me some product for everything that I've purchased for them. But let's see what's in this box. Let's see if it's a box of awesome. Alright, here we are. A Gigabyte GTX 680. So uh, in the uh, Big Bang X Power 2 kick ass build, there's going to be a couple of GTX 680s and they're going to wind up being water cooled. We got a second one for it too. So we'll be um, opening them up and installing them and we'll see um, how well they run. I've been uh, running into some problems with my uh, Lightning Extremes for some reason. I think it's a driver, the new driver that's out, but um, I'm not going to mess with that around with that right now. We're going to uh, install these guys here. and. Uh, and see uh, how they perform and also uh, I like the fact that you can actually hook up a fourth display to it. I don't know that I'm going to do that right now but um, here's a closer view of the uh, GTX 680 if you haven't seen one yet already. Uh, this is a Gigabyte's version of the card. Um, you can see up close just on the packaging uh, it has a logo for PCI Access Express 3.0 Direct 11 has got 2 gig of uh, DDR5 memory and just a pretty much a plain box on the front um, on the back again talks about the PCI Express 3.0 uh, 28 nanometer process technology and uh, does require less power than some of the uh, 580s, the uh, the MSI uh, Lightning Extreme Edition I have uh, requires a, an 8 pin and a 6 pin. This one has I think two 6 pin power, con uh, power uh, connections. And uh, anyway, so this is the box, really nothing else uh, too fancy to, to show in the box here. Let's open it up. quick guide in many languages basically just showing you what slot to plug it in and that you connect power to it a um, driver disk back here the accessories that you get are two Molex um, two six pin power connector for your PCI Express so if you don't have them as part of your power supply, you can use them. And then the card itself. Nice and shiny. The Gigabyte version has some... Uh, uh, you know, decal, graphics decal, a couple of lasers. Um, the uh, down at the bottom of here it says GVN680D5-2GD-B. Uh, there's a shot of the top of the card. Nothing's lit up. It would be nice. I like when they have logos that, that light up. The back of the card. Um, so your SLI connection points. All right. The uh, connectors, two DBIs, and HDMI, and uh, DisplayPort. 
And I understand this card will run uh, three displays out of the box and um, I think you can run four. I don't know if that's off of one card or if you need two in SLI. Um, so uh, I have the second one. I couldn't wait and uh, I think I, uh, if I posted it you'll see the uh, the uh, receipt of the package that I, when I bought them. So I got two of them. One's upstairs in my system already. Um, so I'm going to go put this in it. I ran some benchmarks. Um, first time running some benchmarks to, to post. So uh, hopefully they come out okay. I will be, um, uh, you'll, you'll see them uh, shortly. Alright. And uh, that's about it. Let's see how it does run in some uh, games and uh, do some video encoding and having some fun. Alright, thanks a lot. Here are the uh, Gigabyte Geoforce GTX 680s currently running in SLI. I, uh, I'll give you other shots of the system. Uh, there will be links to see the uh, build and uh, the rest of the system. But here's a quick view. Big Bang X Power 2 kick ass build. And just wanted to show you them in there. I have a little spacer between them just to make sure that they don't touch. And the reason why they're upside down, uh, the, the, the logo there is because I have a reverse layout case. And uh, you'll see more of that soon. So here we go, and here come some of the benchmarks. Hello guys, um, I finally was able to get some benchmarks run on uh, the, uh, the Gigabyte GTX 680. Uh, if you've been following my uh, videos, you know that uh, I've been building the MSI Big Bang X Power 2. It's got an Intel i7-3930K. Uh, that should be 32 gigabytes GB. I'll have to fix that some other time. Of uh, Corsair Dominator RAM there, 4x8. Uh, and then I was able to test using one of the GTXs, of course, and then both in SLI. So I have the benchmarks that I can show you. Um, the OS drive that the applications were run off of is an OCZ Revo, Revo Drive X2, 240 gig, and then the power supply is an AX1200 PSU. Um, I do have some Vertex drives, but they're not touched or being used. The Vertexes are uh, our data drive. Um, the benchmark apps use a PC Mark 7, 3D Mark, Mark Vantage, 3D Mark 11, and the Heaven, Heaven Unigen. So it's my first time really uh, running benchmarks for display. Um, I'm open to any suggestions. I've seen a bunch of guys do it online. Um, but uh, I was able to run these and hopefully this is, gives you some, uh, some idea of how they run on this type of system. And uh, I'm real happy with the cards. I really want to get into uh, playing some games. was able to use Photoshop on it uh, without any problem and I've got a bunch of video editing to do. So. Um, but here are the benchmarks for you to see, and I'm going to step them through. You can pause and take a look at um, the results. So I was able to um, put together a bunch of the uh, screenshots of the benchmarks, and um, they'll step through slowly. Uh, they'll be, uh, it'll show at the top the uh, benchmark that was used and the score. And uh, obviously you can pause it if you want to take a closer look at any of the results um, but uh, they ran uh, well and there was uh, close to linear scaling on some of the applications but not quite it wasn't quite double but I uh, hope uh, this was helpful and uh, if you want to see my system and you haven't seen them yet you just uh, I put some links up there to my build so please like and favorite and subscribe if uh, if you're so inclined. Thanks.